tomorrow we find something nice. I, I, he he kind of has like the face of, of like a cockamelon kid. Master's my friend. You don't have any friends. Nobody likes you. Not listening. Hi, welcome. We're gonna be playing Gollum today. I'm gonna be playing Gollum with a twist. I've heard this game is pretty bad, but I did say that I wanted to play it. I made a very, very important point a week or two ago when I knew this was coming out. It's like, I have to play this. I How could I not play this game? Uh, so, I'm going to give myself a one hour and 55 minute timer to get as far as I can in the game, as, as fast as I can. I'm going for a speed run. I'm going to see if I can speed run the Lord of the Rings Gollum. Do you think I can do it in two hours? No. No, not even close. No, that's fucked up. You don't think I can do it in three hours? What about three hours? He wants to refund it. <laughs> I just, I'm just saying, uh, how far can I get it in, in two hours? I just was, I was curious how far I could get in exactly one hour and 55 minutes. <laughs> okay, here it is. Why is the game quiet? You're gonna waste time sitting around idle? I don't think so. Now I can hear it. There it is. I, I, I actually I can't waste any time. I actually have to start right now. Do you get a sword in this game? Do you get to actually use a two-handed sword as Gollum and just like start slashing people? Oh, what's that? Where is he? Where's that fool? Talking you follow the hobbit's trace all the way his... east to the lonely mountain. <laughs> no, dude. But then you stop and turn south. <laughs> Why? The Lord of the Rings. Gollum. The adventure that absolutely no one asked for. So once again. No one wanted. What is your but here it is. What amounts to a small stealth section. Hated in every video game, we turned into an entire 12 hour experience. The Gandalf, the all going. All right, let, let's be fair. Can I be fair? Is this game that bad? I have no, I've been so completely disconnected from the universe for the last couple of weeks. Is it bad? Let's go in with an open mind, okay? We're gonna go in with an open mind. I'm telling you, the second that I hear. Oh, 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 the misty mountains pull. I'm, I'm gonna give it a full letter grade. All right, go, go. I gotta, I have to hurry. I gotta go now. Nothing, nothing. I must go back hungry again. I said, see, we just did a little bit of research. Oh, nice. It's pretty fluid. <laughs> Fucking hurt. Why does it sound like somebody's hand is like wringing his throat? It sounds like somebody's got him by his throat, holding his throat. <laughs> Gandalf is fucking strangling him. Oh, so you talk to the orcs, huh? An orc cave? Hiding from the great eye, we think. Long gone. When we came, the nasty orc. Oh. Dead. I just keep seeing Gandalf leaning down with both hands around his neck. Leaning in. And what next? Tell me. It is both both hands are around. Not just one. Okay. Can I can I do it? What is it? What was that? I paid four dollars for that? I have- I bought these. How many are there? Hold on. I paid three- what was it? Three or four dollars to have him get scared by bugs sometimes. And for only three ninety nine, you can get the Gollum and the Bug Comedy Pack. Belly laugh out loud while Gollum gets scared of the beetle. 
laugh with your friends while the beetle puts Gollum on his back. I have to hurry up. Am I going the right way? No, didn't I come this way? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh shit, I just hit the ground! Oh my god, he just like broke all his bones! Holy shit, that sounded terrible. He was falling for a long time. So you never left that cave. Never. And no one ever saw you. No. No one except Baggins. Isn't that Ufak? How do I get up there? What's the plan, Ufak? Skip the night shift. Stop making so much noise. Ow! What was wrong? What just happened to me? <laughs> we want shit. We need shit. shit. You're backtracking already? I am. What do you mean go up the map? I, I can't read this map. What is this map supposed to be telling me? I'm running out of stamina. How did I? What do you mean? Did I actually go the wrong way? <laughs> okay, so from here I gotta go. Over, all right. Well, I was listening. Whatever. God fucking damn it. All right. Just. I, I got plenty of time. Is there, oh, are they going to do this again? Oh, I can go. Oh, oops, I'm sorry. Is there, can I like, jump on their back and bite them in the neck? Go! I made it? Wait, what? They <laughs> left. What was that? <laughs> All lands in the mountains. It might see by him. Oh, look, we don't even need a base cam. He's already on. Not him. Don't speak to him. Don't listen. Thank you. Wicked funny, huh? You think you're wicked funny? Sneak up and ambush? What? Take this one first. What? Does this work? It's the worst orc ever. Can I just do it right now? Shit. What's the best brand of root beer? Um uh, I'm gonna say I'm I'm a mug root beer guy. Wait, you can throw rocks at people? This is actually pretty good. Dude, mug fucking sucks. <laughs> Excuse me. We're on team. We're on team mug. I, I, mug is frothier. I like a frothy root beer. Foams up a lot more. I mean, honestly, if he slicked it back, if he slicked it back, it would look fine. Just put it, run, put your head in the water, slick it back. It would look, he'd look great. He'd look fine. We have to make a decision. I'm not going to kill the beetle, because I like the beetle. No, I'm not going to, I'm not going to kill the beetle. Why would I do that? Kill it. No. Now convince beetle Gollum. Beetle no harm, does it? Could huh? Be a spy. It could be. It just looks for pollen. Beetle just wants to eat pollen, perhaps. Hmm. Pollen. Hmm. Yes, it hasn't been following us, has it? it this is so weird. Us. Look, look. Smeagol won the argument. I can't believe there are twenty-one thousand people here watching this. Me either. Yeah, I've been trying to figure that out for the last like five to ten years. Look out! It's a, what are they called? A Death Eater? Is that correct? You're a fake fan? I mean, I, I like Lord of the Rings. I think it's cool. I think it's a really cool franchise. Well done, my dear. Why did he just do, he just ate that like a weird bird. He's, why did he do that? He perched his head up. It was like a fucking gopher. What did you tell him? What did you tell Sauron? 
Everything. I told him everything. I told him about how to crush mushrooms and eat them. And it'll eat dirt off the ground. I'm sorry, Gandalf. I told him everything, I know. First things first. First things first. The slaves chase the cattle. The chase cattle the cattle. Chases the slaves. What? You are the bait. If you're careless, you'll get trampled. Okay. Lure the animal into the pen and then quickly shut the gate. Break through this? Break through this one too? Oh, go! What the fuck is all this shit? I don't... What? Ugh. Don't they run away? Uh, whoa! I thought they were already... I thought they weren't in here yet. Oh, whoa! Gotta make sure I get that tuber gameplay. Alright, so I gotta go over here. God damn it, I fell off no, I didn't. You're on your own. Find eight tags? Eight bodies, eight numbers. It's too hot. Oh, these are the mild parts. When you pick up a tag, be careful. Because after two, Slender Man will start to follow you. After three, he speeds up. After four, he can teleport. What am I what am I doing? God, I can't play this! It's too much. I need to get eight notes. Can I make this jump if I try? <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> I just see that. You're the guy lying down over there. Jump in the lava. I don't want to start this over again. How much time do I have left? Oh, that's not. I don't know if there's enough time to go in the lava. I don't know if it'd be really funny. I think it would just be moderately chuckle inducing. I don't think it'd be funny. Wait, what? What is that? What is that for? Oh, wait. He's, I'm not gonna fall in the lava. I it was it was perfect setup for me to do that, but well, it was just really funny. It was wicked funny. How do you like the game so far? Uh, all right. Remember, somebody said, "Dude, don't even play it. It's not even funny, bad. It's just a bad game." And I was like, "You know what? I needed to play it. I promised you guys I would play it. The day that I, the, the stream that I came back, I told you I was gonna play it. You know what? I'm happy. If this kills me, I'm gonna uninstall the game." <laughs> I need to cut this shit. How much time do I have left? I've got like an hour. It's gonna be fine. I just, I'm just so impatient. I'm just actually completely impatient. I, I need, I need like a, a punch and a kick. You know what I mean? Take the elevator like I'm supposed to. You cannot just jump. Okay, there's one there and there's one there. I'm gonna go this way. What the fuck just happened? I don't. What happened? Precious is our home. Take it back. Make oxies do all the work instead. Jesus! I'm done. I just am so. I was done like an hour ago, but not really. I just need to give it a chance. I was just so done an hour ago. But what if it's fun? What if it gets better? It could be fun later on. Uninstall, refund. No, don't refund. It could get much better. So wait, is, is this Gollum telling this story to Gandalf? This is a long story. So Gollum, skip to the part where you, you know, met up with Frodo that time. I don't care about anything else in the middle. Only relevant information, Gollum. I, I don't really care about anything else you're saying. How is the game? It's a four. I would say this is like a four or a five. It's like a five. Centrist Andy strikes again. 
A five is a failing grade. A five is an F. It can't, guys, it's not a one. A one means you put your name on the top of the paper. You get a one for that. Two is you put in random answers. Right? Three is you got one question right. Four is you got, like, two questions correct, but you tried. Yeah, I... Uh, Alright, yeah, I think that's fine. Guys, uh, teachers don't hand out ones and twos. They don't... I, I don't know, I haven't been in school for a long time, but... When was the last, last time you got a two on your on your paper? Those of you that saw, I was on uh, day two of Ranboo's show. It was really fun. Yeah, the prosthetics I was in. Uh, I'd never done something like that before, but I had to get my whole face casted. And the way they do that is they put this stuff all over your face. This like silicone stuff. They cover your mouth and your whole, almost your whole head. But not my, it didn't do the back of my head or anything. It was just my entire face. And I could only breathe very, very slightly out of my nostrils. It was an, it was an experience. It was like, oh shit. And then, they sculpted on that mold. It's very old. Can't crawl nice like us, can it? No, it cannot. It was really, really, really cool. Did you get to keep the mold? Yes, I actually did. I'll show it. Um... Unfortunately, it is not here. I need to get it. Uh, I need to get it sent to me. But I will show it. It's terrifying. It's just a one-to-one -one complete replica of my face. With every pore. Every... Every wrinkle. It is a snapshot of my exact face as a 37-year-old man. <laughs> Sell it? Ah, uh, nope. Has it food? No and fucking way. Nice fish hidden away. No fucking way. Here. Finish the last tunnel, then meet me back upstairs at the cages. I ain't selling that. There ain't no price on that one. <laughs> you could make bank selling it. There is no world where I'm gonna be super happy and like, oh yeah, that's that's awesome. Yeah, so new merch drop, guys. A one-to-one -one complete replica, down to the pores, identical, of my face. Complete. Better than HD. Real life. It's like real life. It's better than HD. It's real life. I'm not selling that. In 2,000 years, they'll dig it up and reconstruct you. No, I'm smashing it with a hammer before I die. You know what I mean? Like, before I die, one of my requests in my will is smash that fucking one-to-one -one realistic face. Smash it with a hammer into a million pieces. Give it to your grandkids? No! They're not getting shit. <laughs> that sounded bad. That sounded bad. They, I mean, they'll, I'll get... Why, why can I go in here? That sounded kind of bad. They, I mean, they're not going to get any, like, weird shit like that. They'll get... They'll get money... Whatever's left, I guess. Yeah, they'll, they'll see what I have left and they'll be like, Why did Grandpa do all this shit? How much money did he have? And you're telling- Wait, he put on a dollhouse? What the fuck are you talking about? What did you sp- You, you spent $70,000 on the Family Guy game? Grandpa, what the What's fuck that? are you doing? Why didn't you just give it to us? When you realize your relatives have to smash both your head and the bust of your head when you die. Oh, that's true. That's true. No, I didn't, there's a lot of new people here, I think. Do you guys remember that? Should we talk about that really quick? Um, okay, so... When... Okay, let's talk. When you die, nobody really knows what happens, but there's this prospect that your brain is kind of still going you're kind of still going and just what happens in there does time slow down in your head and do you essentially live potentially hundreds of years up here because of just like you're, you're kind of dying and you're going and you but you know what i'm saying there's been theories there's been theories about this that like maybe your brain is actually still active for a while and who knows how long you'd be trapped up there for. 
So, I don't know. What if, what if I like, don't want to be in there? So I made a, a, a jokey reference to the second that I flatline. Like, because it could be a thousand years at that point. You know what I'm saying? Like that one second could be a thousand years after that. I just crushed my head with a cinder block. The second that it's like, what the fuck? What, what did just make the noise it just made? What the hell? Can you imagine? It's in his will, you don't understand! Dude, I'm going to send you yeah. down with Uncle, the Uncle Frank has to run in with a cinder block. No, you don't understand! It's in his will, we have to crush his head! You know why we call them the Somebody get security! No! <laughs> and I'm sitting there in there. No! You're under arrest, Uncle Frank! No, shit! I'm sorry, Jeremy, I tried! Why, why do we sleep? Good luck. Right? What the fuck is going on? Why do we sleep? Why do we do we d disconnect from the network for hours at a time? Why do we sleep? Our brains have to turn off. We get we get disconnected from the network. What? Did I, how did I die? Did I die? It's rest and restoration. Yeah, but isn't that so interesting that our brains effectively are a battery that has to be recharged at the end of a, of a, of a twenty hour period? You have an iPhone battery there. That's interesting. That's incredibly interesting. Can somebody give me a rundown of the entire Lord of the Kings story? I don't think I could even tell you what happens in Lord of the Rings. I probably could, but I'm going to get a name wrong. I'm going to get a time period wrong, and people are going to scream at me. Like, 10,000 years ago, there was this monster. He was an elf. No, he wasn't a monster yet. His name was Sauron. He was an elf. He had a buddy that made shit. He was a blacksmith. His name was Celebrimbor. So Sauron says to Celebrimbor, Hey, what's up, dude? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a bunch of rings. Rings of power. Because we want to, you know, obviously the world, we have to make sure we keep it in balance. And everybody needs to have this powerful things and powerful jewelry in case we have to fight. We can, you know, shoot fucking beams at each other from the lasers from the... Uh, ring, whatever we do. So, and now there's a bunch of powerful rings. So, they made a bunch of them. And they were different, you know, all the different people all the, that were on Earth, whatever this place is called. So, you've got nine went to the humans. Six went to the dwarves. Twelve went to the elves. And then five were put in storage in case they were, you know, just in case there was more needed later on down the road, just in case anybody else wanted more. In secret... Sauron made Celebrimbor make another ring. Essentially, all those other rings I talked about were fake. They weren't, like, that strong. They weren't really that cool. They didn't have, like, the fucking serious drip that the one ring has. So, Sauron asked Celebrimbor to make an, an, a super-powered ring in secret, in private. So, Celebrimbor says, oh, this is uncalled for. So, after he makes it, um, Sauron punches him in the face with the ring. And he does like this ring punch and it's just like, ching, ching, like shatters his skull and kills Celebrimbor. So he can't tell anybody the real secret. So Sauron goes on to essentially destroy um, all of Middle Earth. He kills everybody and it takes over. The, everyone's like, what the fuck's going on? Our rings aren't even good. Our rings aren't even powerful. And that's where uh, Bilbo Baggins gets it. Eventually. And... They have, it's like, hey, this ring is too strong. We have, to, somebody has to, we have to destroy it somehow. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Like, this is not even that far. Dude, you skipped three books. All right, so then Bilbo Baggins ends up meeting Gollum, who at some point, the ring gets lost. Because, I don't fucking know. There's a big battle and Sauron loses. He gets his finger cut off. And during that whole process, it falls down a well and goes down into this rocky area. And Gollum finds it. <laughs> Gollum, Gollum puts it on and for like a hundred years is like the coolest person in fucking Mordor. <sighs> this is a stealth game. So, <laughs> eventually, eventually Frodo. No, I don't know. I could tell, I'm, I, I'm paying attention to something else. Okay, so Bilbo Baggins has the ring. 
Ah, oh, shit, this happens before. Frodo is first. No, Frodo's after because he's like an older guy and he does that. Ah, let's try to get the ring off his neck. Turns out... Okay, no. Hold on, I don't want to get caught here. Turns out six of the rings were very powerful. And what they end up doing is the humans, the dwarves, the elves, they all come together and they put their rings together. And they summon what is effectively Captain Planet. It's, um, it's Gandalf. And Gandalf ends up, like, cleaning up a bunch of litter and stuff. And tells everybody to, you know, cut the shit and to make sure you recycle your fucking plastic bottles. And then he... Oh my god! <laughs> There's no way to get out of here! What about Saruman? Oh, that's right. So during this whole process, there's there are many wizards, right? There's the two blue wizards. There's the one gray wizard. There's the brown wizard. There is the um I don't Saruman is, a, is the white Saruman the white, right? Radagast the brown. There's like five of them, and only one of them really gives a shit about anything, and it's Gandalf. The others don't care. The others actually don't give a shit about anything. They have to be convinced to give a fuck. And it takes it all the way to the very end of the entire franchise before they actually care. That one's true. <laughs> He's shooting me with a fucking fit one. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I don't want to play this game anymore. I don't want to play this game just to keep the countdown up. This is like Glover. Glover was actually good. This is not... This is bad. But it's alright. I can do it. No, shit! Okay, I just don't want to play this. Shut the fuck up. There's no- Come, give me a break, dude. You got... Is he still looking? No, we're good. Alright, alright, I finally made it. Oh my god. Ha! I thought I was going to... I don't know. I was, I was going to try to break his neck. Yeah, that's it. I'm done. Right on time. Right on time. We're good. So, what I want to do in Street Fighter is I want to do the open world single player mode. It, it was... I tried the demo. Alright, that's fun. That was the Lord of the Rings Gollum's Adventure.